Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of PHT TV. Today we're going to be checking out the Acoustic Energy AE300. As I mentioned in the intro a couple weeks back, many of the items that we'll be covering, I will be right there with you guys. Seeing it for the first time, hearing it for the very first time. I feel like this will give me the ability to give you a genuine first opinion on appearances as well as the sound. Now without further delay, let's get this moving and get this guy out of the box. Now, while I get this guy out of the box, let's talk about some quick specs. The dimensions of these are 300 by 175 by 260. For us on the Imperial system, that is 11.81 by 6.88 by 10.23. The frequency range is from 45 hertz to 30 kilohertz, 86 dB sensitivity. It has a 112 peak SBL. The power handling is 100 watts and the crossover frequency is at 2.8 kHz. And inside the box, in addition to the foam, we have our owner's manual, as well as some little rubber feet to keep it in place when you have it on the, on the table. That the box, then get rid of the box. And for the big reveal. Here is the Acoustic Energy AE300. Go ahead and get this piece off of there. I think I'm gonna leave the grill off for now and we can discuss the specs and driver sizes and everything with the grill off. So starting at the top, we have a 28 millimeter aluminum tweeter, which offers high power handling and a low fundamental resonance to reduce distortion. The wide dispersion technology waveguides sh shape the acoustic output of the tweeter to match the woofer and provide a wider sweet spot in your listening environment. Next, in the product description, we will read that we have a 130 millimeter mid-bass driver with an ultra shallow profile, aluminum sandwich cone, and ultra high force long throw motor system. As for the cabinet, we have an 18 millimeter high density MDF cabinet with proprietary bracing to reduce cabinet coloration and allow the new transducers to breathe freely within the listening environment. It is a ported design with a slot shaped port on the rear. And that's about all I'm going to cover here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you again next week for another episode of PHT TV. Yeah.